Good morning guys. Um, I have just woken up. It's Thursday the 30th of March and today I'm going to go and get my hair done and I asked on my Twitter whether you guys wanted like an Instagram live or whether you guys wanted me to vlog the day and vlogging basically won. So I am going to um, take you guys along with me on my day. First I'm going to make my bed and then I'm going to go and have my snack and then get ready for a finished my workout and I've just got to my car. I want to show you this new wallet that I got. Like it legit fits so much stuff in here like all my cards. It's got a zippy thing here. It's freaking amazing and then it's got an extra card holder in here. It's from June but I got it from ASOS but I'll leave a link below so you guys can check it out because it is really condensed if you know what I mean. Literally like nowhere that I can put this. Now I'm going to take my mum to work. This is like the weirdest angle that I could ever put my camera in. I cannot wait to go home and take a shower. I feel like I've forgotten how to vlog so please don't mind me if this vlog is really choppy and weird. I'm sorry in advance. So I have just dropped my mum off to work and now I'm on the way home to shower. Basically, I cannot function if I've not showered after the gym. Um, and then I'm gonna have a protein shake, do some work, get ready. I think I'm gonna go and get some flowers for Nikki because I never like going to her house empty-handed. And then we're gonna wait for Reshma to come pick us up. Um, she's coming to mind to pick me and my mum up and then we're gonna make our way to Nikki's. done um and now i'm about to go down and ooh, have um my protein shake i don't know which one i want to have my cousin gave me this vegan vanilla one to try and then also a chocolate fudge brownie i think i'm gonna go with the chocolate fudge brownie one um and see how that tastes Really hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna make some lunch. I'm actually gonna make one of my favorite snacks. Let me actually show you guys my mum's freezer that I organized for her. Everything is sorted out in sections. Here we've got all like the boxed frozen stuff, so like frozen veggie burgers and things like that. In here we have all like frozen vegetables and frozen greens so whenever we want to make any curries and things like that they are all clearly labelled and another one here this has got more like chilies and ginger and things like that and then in this section we have more of like the frozen vegetables and these are like pre-made frozen garlic and ginger. Because Indian food is all about the garlic and the ginger and the spices. Um, and then in here we've got some more um, frozen veggies. These are the ones which are open and these are the ones which are closed. And then in here we have some like Indian frozen stuff. But this took like a full on two hours to organize and I'm so proud of it. So this is what I'm gonna have for lunch. They are so good. They're vegan and they are meat-free chicken style strips. Better turn the freezer off. But this is what I'm gonna make and I'm gonna have it with a side of hot sauce, I think. <laughs> just had to do some urgent work bits and now I'm gonna go upstairs set my camera up and get ready and I'm just gonna do my like 
generic kind of everyday makeup-y look. <laughs> I'm gonna film that, this is my filming room right here. I'm gonna quickly film that and then I have to go pick my mum up from work, go get Nikki some flowers and head over to Birmingham. I'm so excited to see her. I haven't seen her in ages and she's been doing a ton of traveling recently. Um, so I can't wait to catch up with her and you guys will see like the full on process of exactly how she turns my crazy hair into amazing hair. <laughs> so starting off my makeup as always, I'm taking my Bobbi Brown Vitamin E face base and putting that all over my face and then priming using my Smashbox Primer Water. For foundation, I went in with the iconic London Pigment Stick. This is in the shade number three. And I drew lines all over my face. I did go a little bit crazy with this. Um, and because I wanted to use a beauty blender to blend everything out, I'm adding some of the Tatcha Liquid Camellia Beauty Oil. And I'm adding a few drops of that onto my face before adding some of the iconic London Illuminator. And I'm also putting some drops of this on my face as well before I start blending everything out with my damp beauty blender and this gave me a really beautiful glow to the skin. I did take a little bit of my Urban Decay All Nighter foundation and I put that on my nose area because that's the area that foundation tends to come off first. For concealer I'm using the Naked Skin Concealer and I'm putting this on the usual areas that I like to conceal and highlight so it's underneath my eyes, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose and also a little bit on my chin. And again, blending everything out with my damp beauty blender using the pointy side. And then to set those areas, I'm taking my Kick Ass Soap and Glory Powder and just packing that onto the areas where we applied that Urban Decay Concealer. And this is just gonna set those areas so that they don't budge. For contour palette, I use this contour palette here by The Body Shop. I'm taking the bronzer shade first and bronzing up my skin. So that's in my cheekbones and basically around the perimeter of my face. And then I took the contour shade, which I am just loving at the moment. And I'm just using that to contour and like kind of hollow out certain areas of my face. So that's my cheekbones and especially my nose. And then taking the same blush shade from that, I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks. And for highlight, I wanted a pop of highlight. So I'm using my L'Oreal eyeshadow in the shade nude 206 and I'm putting that onto the top kind of high points of my cheekbones so that they are nice and glowy and then I added some bronzer this is the Tarte bronzer right here and I'm also adding this onto the perimeters of my face just to warm it up very very slightly because I was going to wear a red lip and I like kind of like making sure I have warm skin now taking blissful highlighter from Ofra I'm just adding that to give it a bit more of a pop to my highlight. And for my brows, I'm taking the Precisely My Brow and I'm running that very, very gently through my brows just to make them slightly fuller than they are. And I did also set all of the hairs in place using the Gimme Brow. And I used the shade number one, which is this one right here. And this just lightens up my brows really slightly and makes them look a little bit more natural. For my mascara, I'm taking none other than my False Lash Sculpt Mascara. I'm yet to find a mascara to beat this for me, but I'm putting this on to my top lashes as well as my lower lashes as well. And I totally forgot to put lip balm on, so here I'm taking my Tarcha Lip Balm and I'm putting this all over my lips before going in with my liquid lip. This is, I can't remember the shade off by heart but it's the new um orangey shade from the Nikki Tutorials collab with Ofra and it's very very bright. So I took a little bit of Back Talk, which is a Vice liquid lipstick from Herbe Decay, uh, and I put that straight on top just to kind of mute that color a little bit because it was looking a little bit too bright for me. And then I just very, very quickly did my kind of usual top burn right on the top of my head and I was good to go. Makeup is done. Um, this is generally the kind of look that I go for. Um, I'm gonna put some... Ooh. Hello, lighting. So sunny outside. Um, I'm just gonna put some hoopity hoops on. Um, I've been loving hoops recently. I think I need to change my jumper. I'm getting really hot. Um, the heating is on, I need to turn that off. But now I'm gonna go and pick my mum up. It's so warm outside and I'm wearing like this jumper. I know it's got like holes and stuff in it and it's not exactly warm. Um, but I might change it. I'm gonna wait until I get outside and then I will know whether or not I need to change. I've gone for a big bun. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys my sliders. This is like the best angle ever. How nice are these? They're like fluffy and gray, I love them. need to sort 
sort this jumper situation on because it's 23 degrees outside. What the heck? I'm sure it was like five degrees yesterday. Oh my God. Summer is officially here. I need to retire all of my jumpers and hoodies. I say that now, but I know I'll be back in a hoodie tomorrow. <laughs> Doing things with one hand is so difficult. But I got the flowers, look how pretty they are. 51% battery on my phone, which is really, phone? My camera, which is really annoying. So I'm gonna go back home, charge this camera. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to charge in like 20 minutes. But um, then we're just gonna wait for Reshma to come. Definitely changing my top. Hopefully not too long to wait until we get to Nikki's. I'm home, I'm charging my camera. And I'm gonna change my top because it is Boiling, 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 boiling outside. Okay, Reshma is here. I'm gonna grab my charger just in case. All my stuff, and then we're gonna go. We're on the way. Reshma's the designated driver. I changed my top and my lipstick because my lipstick was clashing with my top. And we're on the way to go get our hair done. Nikki. Thank you so much. <laughs> How are you? Really good. Yeah. This is a new home. New home. Babes, look. Aw, oh, they look good. So we are at Nikki's salon. This is her salon. We signed this years ago. This was her couch in her first salon ever. This is her salon. Hi, these flowers are gorgeous. Hello. Oh, I can oh, hear him. Oh, that's for you as well. We've been just talking about this perfume right now, and I was like, this is so beautiful. No <laughs> way. I was like, what's that smell? And then said, can I have some? And I just sprayed it all over me. Well, now you've got. <laughs> you've got. <laughs> Hello. Okay. This is our ritual. Every, every time, every time. time. There's lots of hugs. The flowers are beautiful. You like them? Hi, Reshma. What are you having done today then? I want to go lighter at the bottoms. Lighter at the bottoms? You want to go ashy? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like I'm, I'm going to be doing your hair today. <laughs> this is Reshma's hair before. And then we'll do an after of Reshma because Reshma's hair always looks amazing. I always get hair envy whenever Reshma gets her hair done. Babyash! Give me a hi! Oh, you are so cute! This is balayage. Yes, he is. You were so cute. He is Nikki's little boy. And he is the cutest little baby. He is the cutest little baby that I know. Yes, he is. Why are you sniffing my knees? What's on my knees? Balayage, what's on my knees? Hi, hi. Oh. So I was reading today about balayage in the magazine. Where are you? In one of the magazines did an interview about balayage and it said in the magazine that balayage should be just flat painted, not um, not foiled. And I was like, that doesn't work for dark hair. It doesn't work because a free paint on dark hair would only lift up to like a few levels and all. It would still be quite warm. But blonde hair, definitely. Blonde hair you should definitely free paint because it's already lifted. Well, it's different techniques for different yeah. hairs, right? Like and I always say, like, as long as their final result is amazing, it doesn't matter what technique you use. So, the mastermind at work, <laughs> doing her magic. Your hair lasts so well, it looks amazing. Uh, this is my hair, guys. Look at that. When did we last come? November time. Yeah, I think it was November. <laughs> There's so much hair in there. <laughs> <laughs> this has lasted so well. Hasn't it? Oh, so well. It's just my pesky little grey hairs that are coming oh. through. Not it's so funny when I'm like in a, doing a video and someone's like, you've got grey hairs and I was like, you haven't seen them all yet. <laughs> I only see the ones at the front. Oh my God, this lady said to me the other day, oh, I just had a baby and I found a grey hair because I had a baby. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Like, we get the funniest questions, don't we? Right, so what are we doing? So we're going... Into... We're going lighter at the ends, right? Yeah, we are. But still feel like not too light no, up here. No, keeping it natural. Natural. But just on the very tips kind of going quite icy. Icy. Yeah. 
<laughs> ice cream. <laughs> Her colors last so well because she's been coming to me for so long that we know what we're doing and we know what colors we're using on the hair. So her color never ever goes into that funny orangey color that Asian girls suffer with. <laughs> and uh, literally we do it twice a year. Don't yeah. Worry. And no toners, no nothing. nothing. Don't believe in toners. And she's really, really good with looking after her hair, obviously, yeah. as you can see. And it's just grown so much. I used to get my hair cut, um, like just locally, and I just found that my hair would never really yeah, grow no. much. I found Nikki through Instagram, like literally on the explore page back in the day. Do like, you remember? Yeah. yeah. And I stalked her Instagram for so long. I was like, oh my god, I love her work. I, I still remember Nikki's like flat that she had and like where she started off and like where she is now. And she like travels all over the world to do literally people from all backgrounds. Like she does a lot of work in the Middle East. So if any of you guys are from the Middle East and you want to know when she's next there. She's so many of my followers actually love you in the Middle East. Really? Saudi, uh, Bahrain. Oh my like, oh gosh. gosh. Yes. So oh my many. God, that's crazy. Okay, so next time, if anyone doesn't know about <laughs> Nikki, that uh, she goes to the Middle East, then I'm going to leave her Instagram details either on the screen, but they'll definitely be in the info box below because you have to follow her because she updates everyone of her dates and where she'll be and when she'll be. Um, so you guys can like get your hair done by her because her hair is literally, literally like I get so many compliments on my hair no one has ever like I don't let anyone touch my hair basically unless it's this wonderful human being here, here. <laughs> a lot of them my clients that have darker hair I always always take it quite ashy and icy because oh. after the first shampoo the the first kind of top coat will fade oh. away and it will start going more warmer so if my clients leave with more golden colors then if you're Asian or Arab or Greek or Italian because you're so dark it then goes warmer quicker so it's best to leave a lot ashier and then the colour will then come through into like a beautiful golden colour that lasts for months and months without having to because I have loads of grey hairs, or silver hairs, as I like to call them. Um, and then we're going to let me brew. Yay! We are going to brew me. <laughs> while we're cooking. Yeah. <laughs> These two are, have been cooking for a while. Yay! And what about you, Balayage? What about you? Hi! Yeah. You, you love, love the camera! camera. <laughs> you love the camera! <laughs> Oh, she's so beautiful. Do you love the camera? You don't need to do any makeup. Yeah. <laughs> We're done. Hi! You love the camera. Oh my god! Guys, Nikki has been cooking. How freaking beautiful how pretty. does this look? I love how colourful it is. It looks like an Indian outfit. It does! <laughs> <laughs> and then some juice shots. Oh my god. Hi, how are you? Oh my god. Hi. Oh my god, is his tongue always like that? Yeah, he's got Oh my god, that is so cute. <laughs> so, how did you make the quinoa, Nikki? The quinoa is just um, from this. <laughs> 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 but it's a hundred percent. So basically, guys, it's literally the ingredients are organic white quinoa, organic potato, organic vegetables, sweet corn, red peppers, natural flavoring, sunflower oil, onion, and um, garlic powder. Hi, right, guys. Here's to living forever. Yay! <laughs> and Cheers. Cheers. Woo. So it's probably not what they're used to, but I am trying to keep them alive forever because I love them. So they're just gonna have greens. How was my food, guys? Really so yummy. 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 <laughs> I've, uh, we've scoffed Vegetable all of up the food. So good. Now I'm gonna basically look through Nikki's mm -hmm. cupboards and get some food inspiration. Cribs. 
So, this is for Balayage. I am nowhere near this. This is absolutely the best probiotics you can have. Okay. My milks, we have coconut milk. Yeah. We have hemp. Yep. In the cupboard, I'll show you another 20. Oh. These are, guys, has anybody ever I've had that? Oh, my It's so It's important. fizzy, right? All my life, I suffered with the toilet. Since I've been plant-based, it's just like, wow. And this is so good. It's like raw hemp seed butter, if you want butter with anything. Lots of vegetables. This is, Kasha, you love this. Mm. I loved this. Uh -huh. It's so good. It's so good. And also the same with this. So it's all fermented. Like, so I, I'm not a beetroot. This is like fruit. Oh, so in the morning I'll have, I'll chop up all my fruit and yeah. I'll have it with this. This is like amazing. So you have this with your fruit. This with them, whatever milk I use. And um, and then what I do is I, it's like porridge. It's like baby food. Oh. So you only need a little bit. And then I mix it with a little bit of health mix, which yeah. is full of flax seeds, chai seeds. I've got that. So good. So good and lots of like lots of fruit in the morning have as much fruit as you like it's absolutely incredible for you if you've had an operation or you're having an operation really yeah and a little bit of the hemp it's very good for the body people always say to me what can i do for my hair to get thicker we can't do anything for your hair to get thicker you can only maintain what you've already got okay but having good food inside will help hair to stay thick and stop it from falling as quick. Okay, now she's going to show us her cupboard, cupboard <laughs> of goodies. Wow. This is so Himalayan mix. So we have some dried fruits and nuts. I travel, I travel so much on the plane. I'll take my miso soups, which are completely organic. Oh, um, wow. With pumpkin and vegetables. So on the plane, I, I try and not have their food and I take like things like this. Yeah. So these are so good. Cocoa and spirulina organic oh, wow. snack bars. And um, these are absolutely incredible. Chocolate fancy almonds with bio life culture, so it's wow. raw and organic. this out and see the final result of my hair I'm so excited look at all of those foils you guys that is not normal <laughs> <laughs> Rita is still finding foils in my hair Lots she of... thought yeah she thought she took them all out but actually they're still they're more. still there <laughs> little bodyguard we have <laughs> Belly like, look how much she's staring Belly Treatments are number one. No matter how good your hairstylist is, if you don't look after <laughs> your hair, it's like I always say to people, it's like going to the dentist for a tooth polish and then not brushing your teeth at home. <laughs> yeah, right? Makes sense. It makes <laughs> so sense. So you have to make sure that you are looking after your hair all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very nice. It's so, it's such a soft cut. It's very um. It's like a very mum, like, yeah, very, do you know what I mean? Very classy colour, yeah. Look at the shine. The yeah, it is. It looks thicker. Her hair looks yeah. thicker. Yeah. You're sexy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. Do you like it, Fanny? Look at it. Oh, he loves it. Oh, like baby. Oh. Oh. Definitely. Oh. Do a little shake. Bellyash, you gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous puppy. Oh, he likes the camera. You are not camera shy, are you? You're so not camera shy. <laughs> How exciting. So exciting. Oh my God, it's amazing. Already we can see. smoky charcoal colour on the ends 
This will then literally turn into a beige gold. It's absolutely beautiful. Kosher travels so much, is so busy. I'm always traveling, so we hardly have the time to meet. And we want to keep the hair as healthy as possible. So we never use toners. Toners will just create color buildup, make the hair feel limp. It will feel shiny for about five minutes and then limp. So we want a color that's going to last a very, very long time without going orange or ginger, which we hate. And um, a toner is literally like when you wear a clear nail polish. It's clear and it's shiny. You put loads on. But if you put 10 coats on, it's still going to chip. So the more buildup you put with toners, it will last great for a week and it will still wash away and give you that horrible orange um, tone. You need to go from the basics. You need to make sure that you are actually giving a good application, good color, so it doesn't fed into the orange brassy tones, just like this. This eventually will turn gold without going brassy or orange. We don't want brassy or orange. Gold is amazing. No brassy or orange. Don't know where the color starts. Starts and stops. Yeah, it's just beautiful. And we are so in love with this. We love it. We love it. Love it. Thank you. <laughs> How do we all feel, you guys? Love it. Do we love it? Yeah! <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh Aww, God. I'm so glad you like this. And they've got pink, it's so fresh. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Like Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you so much. Us. So nice to see you, so nice. Someone's feeling left out. Oh, love, love you. you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> she has so much love for you. I know, I'm like, where's my love? <laughs> Made it to the car. Loving, loving, loving the hair. I just can't get over it. I'm so tired. Um, I can't function, so I'll speak to you guys tomorrow and I'll show you my hair in daytime light because I love it. But yeah, now it's definitely time to sleep. Hi guys, so it's actually Saturday, not Friday. Um, yesterday was really busy. I wore no makeup and didn't do my hair, but I wanted to show you guys my hair in natural lighting. It's very, very cool toned. This will basically wash out um, in about two or three washes. It'll go a little bit lighter and it'll be the color that I exactly want it. Um, but I still always love it when it's freshly colored. I just wanted to check in with you guys and show you guys my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know I haven't been vlogging a lot recently, but I've had two vlogs go up in a row <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed that thank you so much for watching this vlog please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and um, make sure you do subscribe as well so you're up to date with all of my videos and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video bye